Emerging from the Canada Day long weekend, it's clear that we are approaching the end of work by priestly demolition. Approaching the bridge after the break, it's clear that there's a significantly reduced physical presence. There's a small amount of structural steel scrap to be removed and a little bit of the concrete waste. Before this can occur, a small group arrives on site to collect commemorative artefacts. The pickings are fairly slim. Items of real interest are hardly a hand carry. A look along the west side reminds us that everything is pretty much packed up and ready to go. Concrete waste remaining on site will not be here for very much longer. With the visitors gone, work to remove it begins with the assistance of Mulrooney. The work is conducted very efficiently. The orderly assembly of the gas cylinder cages is further evidence of preparations to depart. But work on this task is paused when another truck from Mulrooney arrives, ready for loading. When on-site discussions impose a short delay, it's possible to complete the movement of the cylinders. Before the concrete waste is loaded, however, the last of the metal scrap is loaded into a container. Then we're back in business. Whilst things move steadily forward on the west side, on the east side there's activity. The intentions for materiel on this side, including the bridge deck, remain unclear. More than one group shows an interest in the east side during the day. The fact that the waterway is now open remains the key fact for many people. Back on the west side by mid-afternoon, the roadway is now clear, barriers are in place, and only the removal of the scrap metal remains. As road sweeping tasks by the versatile little bobcat are completed, the truck from Kimco appears. The important task of covering the load is completed, and then the cover is strapped down. The efficiency of a self-loading truck can then be demonstrated. With final checks complete, the truck can then depart for Kimco. We'll end this update with a look at a boat enjoying the entry to Lake Ontario. Thanks for watching.